Also this morning here, 733 right now, FBI agents raided former President Trump's home in Florida in an investigation into missing classified documents. Investigators think that Trump took the documents before leaving office. Doug Luzader has more on that fallout this morning. Now, this looks to be part of an investigation into missing documents, but it carries with it some serious political implications. Supporters of former President Trump protested last night near his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida, angry after the early morning FBI raid. This is nuts. Uh, just raiding the, the former president's house. I mean, come on. Agents appeared to be after documents that have been the subject of a lengthy investigation into materials Trump allegedly took as he left the White House. He was actually in New York at the time of the raid, but in a statement, he said, it is prosecutorial misconduct, the weaponization of the justice system, and an attack by radical left Democrats who desperately don't want me to run for president in 2024. This didn't come from the little local FBI field office in, uh, in Palm Beach, Florida. You know who this came from. This came from one place and one building, and, and that is the White House in Washington, D.C. The White House said it was not tipped off about the raid. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, though, may have been directly involved. It's hard to imagine a decision of this magnitude would be made without his knowledge and approval. And while the raid may have pertained to missing documents, it comes as the investigation into President Trump's role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol may be widening. It shows that they are uh, concerned that serious crimes were committed and they're following the evidence. And now let's see uh, what they end up doing. Now, there have been issues with missing materials involving other administrations, but an FBI raid on a former president's home is without precedent. In Washington, D.C., I'm Doug Lusader for Fox 13 News.